With a spike in the growth of population in Canyon County, there has been an increase in demand for emergency personnel. I'm your Canyon County neighborhood reporter, Vanya Campos, speaking with the Canyon County Ambulance District about what demands they are seeing and the challenges they are having keeping up with it all. Seconds count, minutes count, and so we want to reduce the amount of time that it takes us when you call 911 for us to show up. The Canyon County Ambulance District proposed a nearly $8 million override levy as a way to address the growing emergency medical needs of the county. Our current funding is not meeting that, and so we're going out to the voters and just letting them know here's where we're at. The levy override would increase property taxes in Canyon County by $21.19 per $100,000 of assessed property value. This proposal came after the county saw its population increase by almost 20,000 people in the last five years, and with it, a 20% increase in calls for emergency. However, our funding has not gone up along with that to be able to put on enough ambulances uh, per day to meet the need of the 911 uh, calls that have gone up. When you bring that much more population in, they're going to come in with the medical issues that they have. The levy override would be used to fund the rebuilding of a station, the addition of two ambulances, 12 additional paramedics, and a new station in Caldwell. In Caldwell, there isn't a station that we can partner up and house with them, so that's why we're needing to build that station over there. The district will be hosting open houses in Caldwell, Nampa, and at their administration training building, where community members can voice their opinions about the levy override. We're not meeting the response times that we would like to meet when somebody calls 911, and we're not meeting that because we don't have enough ambulances on uh, duty each day. If the levy override is not voted in, the district may have to look into cutting back on services. But we're optimistic. The district is regularly updating their website with more information about the levy and dates for the open houses. You can find that link in this story on our website at IdahoNews6.com. I'm your Canyon County neighborhood reporter, Vania Campos, for Idaho News 6.